Okay, guys, um, let's talk about a ticker I believe has the opportunity to go 10 times in the near term. Um, ticker NXMR on the OTC network. Um, this one's a really interesting one because it um, last year came out and they did some acquisitions right off the bat. Um, it's an oil ticker. Um, it's in the oil service field. Um, they bought a tick, uh, company EMCO. Um, they had a real tight share structure. They spiked way up, ten, over 10 cents, 10, 12 cents. You know, they settled down in the eight, seven cent range. Let's take a look at the share structure. Um, they've dived way back down. Now, their structure was really high. Um, They've tightened it way up. Now, they did increase their um, restricted sh and unrestricted shares in at during that time, but it was a lot of acquisitions that happened. So I'm not really mad about the, you know, um, unrestricted shares going up because most of that was during acquisitions. So, you know, that happens. You know, they added um, three or four service field companies. They added... Um, you know, three or four extra water wells. And these were all revenue producers and that we're going to see on future financial statements. So this is what you expect as you're a growing company. There actually is a really big D&D &D pack prepared by the Penny Stock Snipers on the Discord. Um, and we'll go over it real quick, but um, I won't have time to talk about every single part of it just because it is quite large. So um, we don't have any affiliation with them, but we'll go over um, some of the details that we can talk about. They went through quite a few CEOs, but they did a massive share structure restructuring and they had at one point like 750 million authorized shares and it's down to like 225 million now, but and it's going to, supposed to be going down even more. They PR that down to like 200 million. Um, and then they'll have like 200 million and like almost, it's gonna be extremely tight. So there's not gonna be a lot of shares that can be traded against it. Um, and it's getting locked up. I know there's like huge support in our Discord and, and there's huge support in a few other ones and on the marketplace for this company. They did a PR, a whole bunch of revenue expect, you know, 15 to 25 million from the new water stations they PR'd. You know, they, they PR'd a whole bunch of these water well contracts, um, government contracts. Um, they have uh, up to 45 million in, in revenue from, uh, MCO. Um, if you actually take in all the revenues that they've PR'd and that they've talked about, and then the, you work in their revenue projections, we actually did a bunch of formulas and worked out a PS ratio that works out to uh, that the uh, on the low it would be uh, 26 cents, on a high it could be 44 cents by the end of next year. Um, and, and this is a stock that's trading around. Um, right now at the 0 0.012 to 0 0.014 range on the daily so you could you could be looking at a return of you know 20 to 30 times you know that's that's a massive return on a on a stock so certainly this is a penny stock snipe you know where you're looking at a massive return and, and you know buying at the bottom which is where we want to be you know so there's a lot of facts about this and this i advise please you guys go find this online you know search nxmr you'll probably find it find it you know here's the share structure you can see it posted right there there's a lot of business description um we've done quite a bit of looking into the company you know obviously we don't know everything we're we, you know all we can do is what's publicly available information you know and that's all we can ever look into but please uh, you know do your own D&D &D, of course because um, we don't have any affiliation with any of these companies and and you know it's just publicly public information that we can show you um, let, let's move on from this this package and you know there's a lot of great information here for you um, take a look into it yourself um, so let's jump over to their Twitter. So recently they tweeted, all our financials are completed and auditors will be loaded uh, next week. Project is, projections will be done via PR in two weeks and we're hiring a new CEO end of January and I'll be stepping down and focusing on Hyrule only. That's a big thing for us because really the company needs a, a CEO of its own, not one that's focusing on two companies, you know, a projections PR. That's what we've been asking for is, hey, you know, if you PR'd all these different revenue streams, can you just throw it all together for us and say, we say we're going to make this much money. Um, you know, we've been guessing at a lot. Um, tell us, you know, you know, like you guys are sitting in a chest over a penny um, and you've said like, we've got government contracts. We've got this well, we've got that well, we've got this service, we've got that service. Like the day they released that projection, which they said, like, um, it's the uh, eighth, 
9th something it's the beginning of january so like that's due in just like under a week um if they come out and say we project we're doing 50 million in revenue next year and this stock has a current market cap in the you know three million range what does that mean um i don't know you do the math let's go get it all right as always you know invest wisely guys take profits on the way up buy at the bottom and uh, lock those profits.